Okay, I know for sure that this is the run. How do I know this is the run? Well, playing Gun Zerker. And how can you lose if you have two guns? It doesn't make any sense. If you've got two guns, that's double the firepower. Double the firepower means that everything dies. But the guns are important. Yeah, choosing the right ones is a necessity. But I'm really looking for... Okay, maybe something terrible. How about that? Maybe something a little terrible to start. What we're really looking for is... Okay. Nice. There's a TDR Supreme that's got four, um, four ammo. Scattergun ain't happening. That one gives me some gun damage. Shield capacity over max health. I snooze it because we have, because we have max health in our kit. Okay. I think that's all we're going to need. Oh, a transfusion is nice. Where's my launcher at? Do I not get a launcher to start? What is this malarkey? I've never, oh, there it is. I right, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and take. Here we go. All right, so we have a, a, a quad barrel TDR shoddy. So this should be a pretty good start here. I think we're missing a slag, though. Oh, here we go. Why don't we just go two shoddies? Wait, wait, wait. What is my setup? All right, do this. Swap back. And I have five points to so make sure I, I use Beckham. Let's go chance to not consume ammo or... That's two chance to not consume ammo. Three shot chance, 50%. Cross, 50%. out. Get back up there. Later, kid. Would you drop me? A launcher? Sure, why not? Not bad, not bad. Let's immediately run over here to the pressure plate and see what we can find. Hey. Not bad damage. The reload's not bad either. You're gonna eat it. Look at that. Oh, not, not exactly accurate enough. Blast him. Huge. Later, kid. Later, kid. Oh, that's a loot. Torg kill, kill dozer. That should be a tough one to kill, but we have a transfusion uh, corrosive grenade, which should be helpful. And in fact, let's actually... Let's actually run this bad, Larry. Come on, kill those or get out of the wall. Wait for my guns to come up. Get the launchers ready. Prep, prepping launchers. We are a fully functional battle station. Bada bing, bada boom. See you later. Bullet stormer, you don't stand a chance. How about a black hole shield? Sure, why not? So when we go down, we're gonna be pulling enemies in, making it easier for me to kill them. What's going on, homies? You gotta go. There's one. If you destroy my shield, that will become more possible than you can possibly imagine to our architects. Oh, almost got the one shot. A little punch in the gut for that guy. A Torg Flamer. Maybe not the best enemy for me to go after. Let's go after somebody a little bit easier to kill. I was gonna go after that, that pressure plate, but I got a little distracted with these guys. Oh, toss that to stun him. Missed. There you go. Round over. All right, we're gonna speed run the loot here. Start with Borderlands symbol. Easy day, easy pay. Let's see, assault rifle, me melee damage. Take the assault rifle max ammo one for now. Keep it moving. Run, running, running, and running, running, and running, running. What are, we, what are we looking for? Looking for a grog nozzle from our left hand. I've yet to ever get a grog nozzle from my left hand. And the streak continues. It is what it is. But I don't, I don't think you can actually get a grog nozzle in any of these red chests. But what, what you can get is really high damage legendary weapons. How about, I mean, I don't think a spiker is going to be what we want. Yeah, I'm sorry that it's a snooze. A dynamic vision. It doesn't, I'm, I, I've been told a lot about, about a lot of powerful non-unique weapons and the vision is simply not one of them. All right, red chest me, and there's a pressure plate behind there. Mm, no, I'm good without any of those. This is all to myself using them, especially when we got this pressure plate right here. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, it's a scatter gun. No thanks. Home security. No thanks. Oh, here we go. Here's a here's a shotgun that we might be, might be able to use. It's a Hyperion. Let's try it. Okay, not bad. We're over here, final red chest, then we get off the stage. Decent stage one, for sure. 
I like Hyperion 2x or double consume. Oh wow, look at that. It's a TD or splat gun, but it's it can't be that good. It just can't be that good. It might be good against fleshy enemies, but Oh, double Hyperion Shotties could be fun. Let's go, um... Increase magazine size with all weapons. Also increase the carrying capacity with all weapons. And since we get full ca carrying capacity... So right now we have 100 and... 110 rounds, I believe. We're gonna see what our actual max capacity is. That's not bad. That extra 18 shots. Not bad. And, and I always go shotguns with, with Gunzerker, but honestly, he's a gun... You can't blame me. Shotguns are fun. This is a, this is a buggy area for sure. The enemies like to disappear on you. Later, kid. Sorry. Is what it is, though. Is what it is. This is why I like going shotguns, because you can just very simply and effectively clear out areas. Later. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear the outskirts and then go for the middle. Ah, shoot. Not bad, though. Don't disappear. Ah, oh, that's a tough... That's a tough move when they do that. Nope. Don't disappear on me. Toss that. Missed again. Not bad. Not bad. Toss. Well, I've got increased magazine size, so I, I can take a third shot now. Hey. Juke. Nice. Okay, I got a third shot I can use. Missed. Dang. Oh, I didn't consume ammo. Gotta be paying attention to my actual ammo. There we go. Black hole proc for the first time, but the enemies were all gone, so it doesn't matter. I like my adaptive shield. It's going to be good, nice for anti-dots. Let's go ahead and Gunzerk. Not bad, not bad. We got a double reload. That's tough. Okay, all enemies down, and we heal back up to full. That You know, just Gunzerker, thanks. Let's see, a crowdsourcing times three ammo consumption. We're going to take five or six shots, and we're not going to worry about anything else in this tree until we get the money shot. We have we have this set up for money shot now. Now we just need to capitalize. All right, more launchers, more snoozers. Climb, climb, climb. Get this red chest up top first before going for the pressure plate. A, a Snyder, but I'm on a different track. Jump, make it. Let's go. All right, what do we got? A stalker, not taking it. Um, I mean, it looks like I just got a bunch of snoozers, huh? Yeah, a bunch of snoozers. All right, let's take the borderland symbol and get the heck out of Dodge. I saw Randy Pitchford tweeted. He tweeted out, or someone tweeted out the the four Borderlands three DLCs. That being shotgun max ammo. It's not a problem for me right now, but I'll take it. Someone tweeted out a picture of the four Borderlands three DLCs and. Randy Pitchford said, like, to the tweet, he said, like, name a better series of post-launch content or something like that. Like, pretty much name a better... It's like, name names anyone who's done it better than us with this post-launch content. And then Epic NMG made a list of, like, 10 games. And Randy said, it's like, I was talking more about cost-to-value ratio. Like, no, Randy, that's not what you were saying. You said name better post-launch content, first of all. And his reaction is like, name better cost to value ratio or whatever it was. It's exactly what's wrong with with the whole series. It's all about cost of cost benefits. It's all about, let's see, we were looking for a money shot. No money shot, simple enough. We take five or six and fill to the brim because we already have points in these skills. Let's go. Like it feels like the Borderlands games have been all about how much money they can make rather than how good they can make the games change my mind. I don't think it's that debatable, to be honest with you. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. See you later, kiddo. You don't want to take out my shield, trust me. You don't want to take out my shield. I'll become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Nice. Let's go. That seems like a nice one, too. Let's try using it instead of our, our TDR. 
Then we have another uh, pressure pad pressure pad to get in this region. Yeah, I couldn't. I honestly couldn't believe what I heard Randy say in that tweet. It's like what? That's ridiculous, bro. And for me personally, it's like name a name a game that has better post-launch content. The first thing that came to mind for me, very first thing, was any sports game ever that had updated rosters. Like, yeah, those those updates count as post-launch content. So when, you know, someone gets traded and then you can have the game auto update, for me, that's better than the Handsome Jack Casino DLC. Off rip. The only DLC from Borderlands 3 that I thoroughly enjoyed was Bounty of Blood. And the, and the only reason I enjoyed that as much as I did was because they coupled the Bounty of Blood with huge uh, buffs to Iron Bear. Did I already get the pressure pad? I'm gonna check. They coupled the... Yeah, I did. We go next. Ooh, or Times War Ravager. We're taking that, for sure. They, they coupled the Bounty of Blood with... Yeah, massive buffs to Iron Bear. So I was having a fun time blowing up everything with Iron Bear because I already had an Iron Bear build made. And it just became so much stronger. So as I was one shot, I gotta be careful with this boss. This guy's gonna deflect my bullets back at me. Let's get the Ravager out, actually. We're gonna go to fleshy area. So let's go Ravager in slot two. And we're gonna put this... Crowd's horse against slot one. Let's make sure this guy doesn't face us as he's blocking. Reload. Oh my gosh. What's that reload? Oh, is this going to block everything apparently, huh? Oh, there's the CC we need. There's the CC we need. Gone. See you later, brother. That's okay. We're okay. There's a buccaneer right there we can, we can burst down. Not bad. Not bad. Sadistic Pirate, we have a fire shotgun, but it is what it is. There we go. Affirmington's Edge, we snooze. Keep moving, keep moving. Okay, now you're done, brother. No block, it means you die. Oh, he actually did block. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I have a... I think I've got a boss right next to me. He's got a, he's got a shield. Let's Ravager him. Oh, man, so much reloading to be done, huh? I might die here. This could be the end of the round right here. Got most of my health back. Okay, he's down. I got someone else shooting at me, though. Lost out of transfusion grenade. So, stick pirate, you gotta die, brother. See you later. Alright, Salmon didn't drop me anything good, did he? Nah, no, shield recharge, right? Mm mm. Let's leave reload the Ravager. And I'm going to shoot some shovels here in a second. I need to get up close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Torque shotgun be torque shotgun, brother. See you later. This is what it is for you. Um. No, neither one of those. I'm going to stick with what I've got. I'm going to do weapon swap speed. All right, there's one shovel. I already got another shovel. The one that's sitting right there, I'm assuming. Yeah. All right, and now the final shovel. Let's go right there. Huge. Now my big shovel, gone. What's my gear? Nova shield, turtle shield. Lots of shields. I have a black hole, but... A lot of transfusion with a 3.0 second fuse time. Sorry to tell you, but I'm never going to use that. Don't need absorb because I already have enough uh, bullet regeneration. Let's open some red chests. Rubberized transfusion is, is dece. And we need the transfusions for healing. Healing against the dragons is absolutely required. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I was I was gonna parkour up there, but let's just skip it for now. Right, trust me, right here. There's a bushwhack. The thing about the bushwhack, and uh, although I do like the bushwhack, and Jacob shotguns in general, is that. Uh, Sal gets fire rate, and this just feels bad to get wasted fire rate in general. But I'll probably run the bushwhack. What I really need more than anything is a grog nozzle. That way I can actually get extra pellets as well on my shotties. 
Jump here. It's like the Grog is the number one weapon on Salvador. I've never been able to use it ever. Okay. Jump. Made it. Jump. Made it. And the only way to get it is from the unique. It's from beating the bosses and getting those unique items. So we have a chance here to get it. Like Gluttony Gulch should be a difficult area, but we should be fine. Hopefully. This is not an area that I'd particularly enjoy. It's 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 difficult for sure. Do we need slag? Potentially. Let's get a bushwhack out here though. Let's go. Too close. Let's go. We got transfusions. We got two two shotguns. Let's do it. If we go down, we have to kill the Torg. We have to kill the Torg uh, vision bots. This guy right here. What's up, Torg vision bot? Hey, he's actually invincible right now. Okay, he's vulnerable. Yeah, that's good deeps. That's good deeps right there. Okay, keep. Maybe it's time to start throwing some nades. Let's get the transfusions going. Good, bottle gobbler, and my first gun zerk is below half. That's good. Let's just take our time and get some space now. No reason to die here. We can always just wait for another gun zerk. Stop chasing me. We'll put some damage out. Okay, can I, I'm gonna run even further back. Make it harder for them to hit me because they're all they're all targeting me now, including including the waddle gobbler himself. What's up, homie? You're ravaged. And running, running, and running, running. Ah! I will just like another gunzerk. That way I can have more HP. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to kill that person efficiently. I can't kill any of these people efficiently, to be honest with you. Toss out a transfusion grenade. And let's gun zerk. Where's this turkey going? Brother! I could use a little bit of warning if you're gonna chase me around the tree like that. Alright, uh, transfusion. We're gonna need the extra healing, I think. We're in the middle of a lot of them. Black hole's nice, though, for the CC. Alright, round over. Huge. What's that? A fixed stalker ain't happening. A longbow storm front. That's huge. It's not a transfusion, though. So we're really looking for a moxie weapon here. A little Eevee, a pocket rocket, a commerce, a chopper, a share of May. I don't think we have a choice. I think we have to go share of May. It's slag. A slag share of May isn't bad. Yeah, it's th those are some tough drops right there. The share of May does heal me for a little bit. A room cleaner or a gospel? It's gonna have less damage for sure than the quad, but we'll we'll give it a shot for just for now. I have five points now. Is it actually time for money shot? It is one, two, three, four, five. Huge. Go next. So with a stormfront and a share of May, hopefully that's enough healing. Um, what do you got for me, Michael? I, I need to, I need pulls up the box. That's what I need more than anything. Yes. Okay, that looks sick. A flacker and a deliverance. Okay. The flacker is going to be super, super nice for trying to one-shot bosses. Oh, is that another flacker? It's a carnage. No, the, the carnage is trash. Don't don't speak to me about the carnage. All right, here we go. Some class mods. Huge. Slayer of Terramorphous. Legendary Berserker. We take the Legendary Berserker. Maloko. I'm, 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 I snooze on it. Now... As far as our setup, we need to grab a Tidior launcher. Do I have a T or sorry, a Torg launcher? I do not believe I have a Torg launcher. That's tough. So for now, I think I don't think the Flacker is going to do it for us. I'd rather have something like this. Yeah, and we'll take an adaptive shield. We're going to have a lot more max health with these. Or do I take the shotgun max ammo? I mean, it is a raid boss. We'll take it to, to start the fight, and then we can always swap out after. And let's design our character. See you guys in a second. Hi, this was a cookie. His name is Red Sal. He's not messing around. He's looking pretty dapper. Let's move on. All right, what is our luck going to be for this raid boss? Okay, wham-bam. Let's go to wham-bam. 
Let's do it. Let's do it up. Come on, brother. I think maybe the bushwhack is going to be a little bit better than the... I'm going to start with the bushwhack. I'm just going to start with it. The carnage, don't, don't speak to me about the carnage. And the deliverance, I don't think that's any good. I mean, I'm sure, I think it has like special properties. Maybe the Ravager, but let's stick with the Bushwhack just for, just for a bit, just to see. Hold on to our grenades. You coming, brother? What's that? Oh, nice, nice shot. I need more magazine size or there we go. That's not bad damage. Yeah, some more magazine size would go crazy for me right now. Let's also, also Stormfront. Okay, we're, we're landing crits. Not bad. It's pretty good deeps. It is only the first raid boss, but that's pretty good deeps. Alright, he goes invincible. Now we can also we got a bushwhack, so we can we can play around. Get that reload going. We don't have increased reload speed because they're going for all damage. We can play around uh, power-ups. See ya. Not bad at all. Money shot to the to the grill. Let's gun Zerk a little bit. And we got the share a slag share in the right hand for healing and slagging. All right, huge. Let's toss the storm front down. Not bad. He loses that side. Hey, stop that. Let's get the share may out just to heal back up. Is there a loot enemy? There is one. Loot tropical varkid. Yeah, keep keep us healed up, storm front, please, good sir. What did he drop us? A gub? I snooze the gub. Hey, stop hitting me. You guys are annoying, man. Alright, we need to get a Gunzerk up and running. I might go down here. Yeah, my bushwhack isn't reloading. That's why. Okay, he's going invincible. Finally can get rid of that guy. He's probably been the one hitting me this whole time. Alright, bushwhack me. Reload, brother. Reload, reload. Huge. Give you some extra reload speed. Big. See ya. No power-ups, though. Not a single power-up so far. They are rare. I would take a green one at this point. Oh, here we go. Asking you to Max health and grenade bonuses for a short time. Let's just start chucking grenades at this guy. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. Storm fronts for days. I'm sorry to my fr I'm sorry for my computer. To my computer for the frames. There we go. Let's get the grenades going while we can. Okay, it's over. The, the bonus is over. I would love to get a chain, a chain power up there, but is what it is. Nice. Wow. A lot of enemies around now. I gotta be super careful. Let's go to Sherame and a Stormfront and green power up. Huge. Alright, where's the boss? Hey, get over here. Come on, boss. Just spawn. There we go. There we go. Easy run. Okay. Now, crawl with you. Drop me. Uh, a Sincero sniper rifle. That one ignores shields and such, I believe. Could be good to knock off Pirate Pete's hat, uh, helmet with it if we get Pirate Pete next round. Absorb shield? I snooze him. That's okay. We got a billion chests to open behind us. And a reward. Well, what is that? A, a Retcher? Or a Hoplite? I'm not going to go Hoplite. I'm going to go Retcher and I'm going to give it a chance. But again, what we're really looking for is a Torg launcher to match with our Flacker. That way we can shoot the Flacker, swap to the Torg launcher, and each of the Flacker shots gets Torg launcher scaling. And if we get a money shot on that bad, Larry, we might just go to the moon. 
Right, anything over here worth it? Maybe in a different run, but not this one. Keep it moving. Thank you to the Sharon May for being slag. Well, I would like to I would like to think um the fact that it kept us alive that fight. Its healing isn't as great as the Grogs or anything like that, but it's at least it's a slag moxie weapon. That's about as all all you can ask for, at least in round one. Let's keep it moving. We already have a flacker. We have a way to kill and game bosses. Nope, not happening. Inside the waterfall we go, two chests. Five or six shots, reload speed, max size. Five or six shots, out of bug up to fill the brim. Hear me out? I think that's gonna be better. It's gonna be better than the one I've got. Because it gives me... This is a great skill, this is a great skill. But maybe the blue one's actually better. Because what, like this legendary, this legendary one gives me... Build to the brim. It does give me a lot. A lot of good skills, including some defensives. Yeah, including some defenses. That's probably better. The reload speed is there. Plus, it gives me cooldown rate and fire rate. Now, this is the other one I would I would maybe go, but let's stick with the legendary berserker. I didn't realize it gave us so much reload speed. Once I take a point in the skill, at least. How about a Torg launcher? I've had runs where I've gotten nothing but launch. Okay. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. Let's go. So, this weapon gets swapped out for our flacker. And our launcher gets swapped out for our... Torg, our new Torg one. Plus six money shot. Plus five locked and loaded. What, what does locked and loaded do? Let's, sw let's swap it out. Plus six money shot. Plus five locked and loaded. Plus left side tree. Okay. 880% damage. I could work with something like that. Okay. We're looking good now. We got a plus six money shot class mod. Now it doesn't give us the reload speed. Or the cooldown rate or anything like that. But what it does do is it gives us massive damage. I'm actually not sure if it's going to be better than the Legendary, though. Might be better than the Legendary for bossing. Because for mobbing, we, are we really going to need plus six my shot? I don't think so, to be honest. Let's take it off for now. Maybe we'll put it on for next raid boss. We got to get a move on here. Oh, yeah. Jump. Don't fall. Jump. Don't fall. No sprint needed for this one. Go. Easy jump, easy jump, easy jump. Good. Go next. Thank you. Now, a replace a a better shield would go crazy for us. Um, I'm looking for a class mod. That, this, oh yeah, a better relic as well. I mean, right now a relic gives us shotgun ammo, which. We're actually going to be swapping it back for the max HP one for mobbing. I just took the shotgun ammo because I felt like I was going to need it. But honestly, our ammo regen is such that we don't really need it. Slag resistance. No, what I'm really looking for is, you know, like something that's actually going to improve our damage. All right, let's do it. Get wretched. Here we go. Oh, I see. It's it's got a little bit of a it's got a little bit of a a dip to it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Is that is that doing any damage? Oh, I'm in trouble here. Pump this chest. Wow, that's a times four our development. Let me slap that on. The, the carnage, it just, it just simply isn't happening. How about we can try out a deliverance? But I'm pretty sure the deliverance is used more for like grenade reload shenanigans. Oh, yeah, not good. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, not bad though. The actual shotgun that's probably going to be still the best for us. Probably the Ravager, honestly. 
Ravager just seems like it's going to be the best. There we go. If I can get an explosive damage relic especially, it's going to go crazy with this thing. There we go, five points. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to put one point into both of these to get ourselves some, some good defensives. And the reload speed, of course. Let's go ahead and... There's a lot of good skills to take. Killing an enemy instantly reloads all the guns you do not have equipped. I think that I think that's gonna be super good. Guns working well and fight for your life, also very good. There's so many 1.1ers to take in this guy's skill tree. Let's take steady as she goes as well. Let's just let's just get our gun zerk really, really powerful. Bad. Alright. I don't get to go to this area very often, so. It's going to be interesting to farm for red chests here. Anything back here? Nope. Then this, uh, actually, this is a good place to talk about one one issue with the Borderlands series that I have in general. And that and so, this comes from the base game, not Rogue Lands, is that when I have a side mission and and a main mission, both active, right? And they typically take you through the same zones, and you just pick up, the, you do the side missions along with the main one as you go. This zone is one of those cases where, like, if you didn't. If you didn't have the side mission active on your display and telling you where to go, you could miss these purple vials. I would like if I could have two missions or three missions active on my HUD at any given time. I'm just running around circles now. We can go next. That way, I'm not going to miss the side objectives as I go through the main mission. I don't have to double back. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to pick up all the missions and do them as I go with clear directions. See you later. Get ravaged, brother. The slag is nice, though. This ravage of reload speed needs to work. I have reload speed skills I can take. Like, I just took some damage, so now my reload speed is going to be a little bit better. Don't try that. It's not going to work for you. That much we know. Go down, brother. Thank you. Wow, there's a purging stalker in a... <laughs> a purging stalker in a box is crazy. But we're not going pistols, so... Miss me with it. Later, kiddo. I want to thank the Ravager. I want to thank the Academy. Don't block my own bullets back at me. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Nice. Money shot. Huge. The next thing we're probably going to be focusing on is getting our... Oh. Pistol damage. No, not double pistol damage. I already have a flacker. I already have a flacker, brother. I probably should take it, though. Yeah, I'm going to empty out a lot of my inventory here in a second. Go down. You don't deserve to lift. Thank you. Thank you. Nope, we don't need to slag renegade. But yeah, let's empty out most of my inventory. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, already? Boom. Nice. Okay, so. A sheriff's badge. 23, 56, 23. This one's better. A deputy's badge would go a little bit harder, but that is what it is. Alright, right chest me. Oh, you spawned behind me. Where'd you spawn? Right there. One shot me. There we go. What are you doing up there, brother? See you later. And one more kill. Let's just run to cross and get this guy. Oh yeah. Maybe a grenade will do the job. Let's see how much damage the stormfront actually does here. It's doing okay damage to medium health enemies. So. At the end of the day, I think it's okay. Ow, that hurt. Now, what would we like? I could take... I don't really want either of these, to be honest with you. Okay. Now. I could take more damage while gun zerking. But I'm not, I'm not using two of the same weapon types. Killing enemy increases fire rate and critical hit damage. I think I really need the reload speed. We're going to take reload speed, 25%. It's going to help us in every instance for the rest of the game. Nope, none of that. Looking for something that's plus 5 or 6 money shot. 
that doesn't just increase our uh, assault rifle damage. I've heard that there's like a chaotic monk class mod that does something like that. That's what I'm looking for. No cradle, ain't happening. We are gonna take that ancient shield though. Oh, we take this for next round. Huge. Two, one, take. Zero's pass. We're gonna try to speed through this as quickly as possible. Oh, this is a good. This is a good map to have this on. Come on, spawn in, brothers. Warlord Orsia. Kill this overloading badass while we have the power up. Come on. Yes. Huge kill there. Absolutely enormous kill. Okay. We lost it. Come on, brother. Go down. Thank you. Come again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe killing this guy's a bad idea. Either way, he's going down. He's got to go down. I'm sure. Can I hit? Can I land a shot, please? Thank you for that reload speed. Gotta go. Not bad. This is a tough zone. I'm happy that we're getting through it the way we are. See ya. What is that? Money shot? Locked and loaded? Okay, it's, I think that's similar to the one I already have. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, remember the zone in the real in the actual game? Holy. It's like this is the This is like the final challenge before getting to the warrior. Is getting by this this constructor at the bottom. Alright, a couple more kills. Go down, brother. Thank you. Doom, 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 doom. Nope, we're gonna skip that launcher. Keep it moving. We have to run down a little bit further for this guy to spawn in some more enemies instead of just launching missiles at us the entire time. Usually, no, it looks like, yeah, it looks like we're okay. I'm gonna say, usually you don't have to kill the big guy. Could be mistaken about that. Ouch. Let's have a grenade out, because once we get our guns working, we're gonna want it. There we go. Go down, brother, go down. Yes, I don't have to kill the big guy. Sergeant Loader right there. Huge, huge, huge. All right, moving on. And let's take... Shooting an enemy decreases your guns or cooldown. It can only happen once every three seconds. Or, big ore here. No kill like overkill gun sounds really nice. Yeah, what if we just don't invest in our long-term gun zerking and instead invest or early on in no kill like overkill? I don't know. I think I think we want the gun zerk duration. The gun zerk duration sounds nice. Please explosive damage relic. SMG damage. Hyperion damage. Hyperion max accuracy. Whatever. There are some decent Hyperion shotties, so. We take for now. We gotta keep it moving. Inch moving. The most farmable red chest in Borderlands. Homing slag transfusion. I mean, the share may is not healing us that that much, so we might want to take that. Again, a grog. A grog is the number one. See you later. Nothing personal, kid. Nothing personal. Nice. We got through that guy. Shoot that barrel so it doesn't kill us. Shoot that banjo. Red chest me. Hopefully Spyco doesn't doesn't like glitch out. Spyco likes to glitch out a little bit. But other than that, I think this stage is really fun. It's got a nice little ladder here. You have to you have to climb in order to continue. Nope. And it's the first map that I ever found all the hidden objectives on, so it's got a special place in my heart. Oh, yeah. There's Spike. Oh, he's not outside the map already. That's big. All right, everyone, let's let's focus up and kill the Spike up first, and then we can turn on each other. How about that? Now, what I could do? Let's just do this. Let's do. Oh wait, it's not working. It's not working. Come on. How come I'm getting knocked back so much? Is that not working? I thought this would work for sure. 
They're all dead. What about Spike Hill, though? But I, maybe I got maybe I got to swap to it instead of just holding it in my left hand. Either way, round's over. Final banjo. Drops me a morning star. I'm not gonna use it though. Adaptive shield, snooze, homing slag, bouncing Betty, snooze, shooter banjo. Amp shield ain't happening. That's a nice adaptive shield. If only I could see it behind that grenade. There we go. Uh, mine is a much better shield recharge delay, so I'm gonna keep the one I got. I have five more points. Increase the cooldown rate of the Gunzerk ability. Or let's do Yippie Kaye. Getting kills will increase our Gunzerking duration. Doc Mercy. Okay, this is where my last one ended. My last great Gunzerker round ended because his shield is bonkers. I'll put that out there. All right, I'm gonna try the Flacker this time. It's not as good against ground-based enemies, but swap. Swap down. Wait, no, that's not the Flacker. This is the Flacker. Swap. Yeah, it's, I'm not reaching him. That's okay. Bust some grenades out while well, we got the Sharon May active. Nice. And what is this? Ammo regen and fire rate for a short time. This is how I died to him, though, in the, in the last run. Oh, come on. Reload, reload. I hate that reload bug. Come on, Doc. Don't, don't put your shield up. Don't put your shield up. Reload, reload. Okay, we're looking okay. Reload, brother. Reload. Yeah, Stock Mercy's going down. He's going down. His shield's so strong. There we go. Woo! Stay back just for a second in case there's more grenades. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate what you've done for us. Now, please drop me a grog nozzle. A Laco, a zapper, a fireball, a fire to the terramorphous, a landscaper. And it looks like another fire to the terramorphous. It's a blockhead. Uh, if we get terror, we'll be happy to have those shotguns. Other than that, no. Nope. Take that. Either one of those is speaking to me. Another deliverance or a lob fire bee? I'm not taking a deliverance. Let's see. Let's do... Yeah, I got weapon swap and critical damage with all gun types already. Let's do... Killing enemy. Dang, there's so many good skills here. Let's let's increase our cooldown. And move out. Alright, we go Sanctuary. We got tier two. Hopefully it's not power P. If it is, I have a Sincero form. I want to get some hits at the box. It's another Retcher. It's an overcompensator. Rosa isn't the best for Rogue Lance. What do we got? A Neo Generator and Whiskey Tingle Foxtrot. I'll take the Neo Generator. It's a great shield. We're around out of space here, though. I'm going to have to drop a bunch of stuff. Blast mods. Let's see. Legendary Hoarder. Legendary Hoarder. What does this boost? One. Two. These are These are good skills. Gonna, it's gonna help us synergize with, synergize with money shot. All right, one more pull. Again, we're not concerned about really max ammo because of how much. Oh, is that Torg launcher? It's flat off. It's Mongol. I accidentally just dropped my share May forever. I think it's gone forever. I'm pretty sure it's gone forever. Yeah, it is. All right, Mongol. For that, I hate you. Okay, that's fine. We're going to be heading into Power Pete without... It doesn't have to, it's not necessarily Power Pete, but... We're going to be heading in without a, a healing weapon, which is tough. Maybe we just go... 
Maybe let's go deliverance or overcompensator. It is power beat. Like we knew we knew it would be. Alright, so we can use the Sincero, I believe, to knock off his headpiece. There we go, his headpiece is now gone. So we want shock damage if we can. And if we can't, that's okay. Slag will do just as fine. Man, we, we had a healing slag mox you up and then we no longer do. Because if you drop anything in that, in that last room, it just falls straight through the floor. Now let's try to slag him up. Let's try to shoot this and swap. Shoot and swap. Not working, not working. Shoot and swap. He's, he's not big enough, I don't think. Yeah, he's not big enough to make it work. That's okay. Awesome grenades at his feet. Here we go. Maybe we put some extra points in the money shot. Where's my money shot one? Right here. Where's my money shot? Taking a lot of dot damage here. And my gun's work is almost uh, done, so I'm going to go summon some enemies. To cleanse my debuff. And maybe this will work now. Swap. Mm, no damage. Fire swap. Hmm. Fire swap. Nah, it's, it's not doing anything. I gotta be careful. Now, not to, not to just simply die because I'm trying too much shenanigans. Get the slag off on him. Maybe get some money shots off here. We go to the bushwhack? Was the bushwhack going to be more effective? I don't have a quad. I only have a bushwhack, but maybe this will be more effective. Let's go. How come this only got three, three rounds in the magazine, though? Boss. Here we go. I need to uh, cleanse my debuff, maybe heal up a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look at all of them run away from me. That's crazy. Okay, not bad. Except for, I'm not doing any damage to this guy, man. I need something. I need something to boost up my deeps. I thought the money shot would be what I needed, but maybe it's a maybe it's a power up off the ground. Stormfront, go. I do one shot most of these guys. Neo generators help me out quite a bit. Oh, he hit me. That hurts. That hurts, bro. Pick up this this health. And some kills. I see a loot enemy. Cleanse our debuff. Where's that loot enemy? Right, He's right there. A conference call. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. It's, we need to get a slag off on him. Guns are, oh, guns are continuously for 90 seconds. The first one I've ever gotten that. I need to get a slag off. Thank you. Here we press on. I ran out of disc space there for a second, but we can always just combine those two. Recordings ain't the biggest deal in the world. Let's cleanse our debuff. And hit some headshots. This guy takes no damage. I just want to put it out there. This guy takes zero damage. Like from any sources at all. He's by far the tankiest. It feels like the fastest way to kill him is not to even kill him. The fastest way to kill him is to just pray for green power-ups from enemies. I'm just gonna do that. I, I'm one shot everything besides him. This feels weird that like I can't even tickle his health bar. 
I can't even tickle it. With money shot. I don't know. So that being said, I'd rather just have this this one. And treat it like a mobbing session. No share of me means I go down here. Come on, power ups, power ups, power ups, please. I'm begging you. Keep spawning enemies. I know they I know they get stronger. But I will get stronger if I can kill one of them that drops a power up. What is that on the ground? A bonus package? I think I'm good without it for now. Yeah, I could be in trouble here. No power ups are dropping. Tons of loot enemies though. No power ups. Cleanse our debuff. Toss a nade out. We've been at 1 HP forever. <laughs> Neo generator popping off. Skull masher. There's almost no enemies to kill around. I need, I need to summon in more. This is what it is. This is what it is. Level 87. I snooze that. I'm I'm getting pretty low in HP here. Yeah, this could be the end of the run for sure. We go down. Dang, man. Can't I can't get back up I can't get back up on my feet for more than a few seconds at a time. Let's just focus on the boss then, huh? This feels weird that it's not it's like I've shot how many bolts into him? And he Wow! That was ridiculous. I need to cleanse that ASAP. Right, one kill, please. Thank you. I, I want to know how many mobs I've killed without a single power up dropping. Yeah, they're getting a little bit tanky now. Yeah, they're getting a little bit too tanky, I think. But I mean, they're they're easier to kill than pirate beats. This guy's such a tanky menace. Why is he so tanky? I'm hitting criticals. Yes, a little money shot chain. Finally, and, it, and it, almost a damage tool. I need to spawn in enemies ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. Okay, we're okay. We go down, but I think I think we reset our. There's somebody low here, or it doesn't matter if they're low or not. That's the end of the run. GG. Maybe we tried our very best, and you know what? Power P is just so, so tanky. We sat there with like a, what is it, like a 30 round money shot? Maybe like a 15 money shot chain, and it tickled his health bar. I don't feel too bad about that. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one. See you next one. Bye.